In this video, you'll be working with the Cypress test suite that we set up in the last tutorial and learning about the different ways you can configure your test to run on Sauce Labs using the Sauce config YAML file. Previously, you set up your Cypress and Sauce CTL project structure using Sauce CTL init. And now all you need to do to run your test suite is run the command Sauce CTL run from your test project. Once you kick off this command, you'll see output both in your console and on the Sauce Labs dashboard on the test results page. Once your Cypress tests have been run, you can use the test results dashboard to access the results of your tests, console output, logs, information about what virtual machines your tests have been run in, as well as the config YAML file that set where and how your test was run, along with a video of your test execution in action that can easily be shared with others. With Sauce CTL, you have the option to specify which test files are run with which suites. In this example, I'm going to reorganize my integration directory, adding in two separate directories for each kind of test that I would like to run. For the purposes of this example, we've created a smoke and an integration directory where we've placed copies of each test. But once we're done with this example, you can move your test back into the integration folder. Don't forget that you'll have to update loginspec.js to reflect any reorganization you do with the file structure. In order to configure two directories to run, you'll need to create a suite for each one. Copy and paste the suite you already have and give them two unique names. We'll name one of them the Chrome Smoke Tests after the Smoke directory and the other one Regression Tests for the Regression directory. Then under the Test Files option, put the name of the directory that you created within the Cypress integration folder. Now when you use the soft CTL run command, you'll see that each test suite is started in the console output. When you visit the Sauce Labs dashboard, you'll notice the name of each suite show up. And when you go in, you can take a look at the logs and see which tests were run. Sauce CTL also allows you to configure which specific tests you want to run in the config YAML file. In the same test files option, you can specify which names you want to be run for which suite. Within the smoke directory, I'll only be running files that contain the word spec, and within the regression directory, only those with the word test in the name. Now, when sauce CTL run is used, and you go into the sauce labs dashboard, you can dig in to each one of the suites and see that only one of the tests in that directory was run. The Sauce CTL config YAML file also allows you to configure different platforms and browsers to run your tests in. If you look at docs.saucelabs.com, you can see which platforms and browsers are supported. If you go to the Cypress configuration and look up the different options for suites, you can see how you can set the browser and browser version within config YAML. In order to demonstrate how these work, you're going to add in two new suites one for testing on Firefox and one for testing on the Microsoft Edge browser. Create a new suite with a unique name with the browser, browser version, platform name, and config with test file fields in there and add the mode sauce at the end. We're going to copy this and use it later for your Microsoft Edge tests. Give it a unique name that lets you know it's the Firefox test and you'll be running all of them. For browser, add in Firefox, and then add in a version that is current for the Firefox browser. Under test files, notice how we're running all of the tests. We can copy and paste what you did before, and this time we'll do the same thing for Edge. Under the browser option, we're going to add in the word Microsoft Edge and add in a browser version that is supported by Sauce Labs. When you start your test with Saw CTL run, you should now see four different test suites being run. If you go over to the Sauce Labs dashboard, you can see that each of these tests is being run on a different browser. We now have Firefox, Chrome, and Edge tests running for all our suites. Saw CTL offers two different modes in which you can run your tests. You may have noticed the mode option under each one of your suites. These are completely optional and can be removed. With Sauce CTL, you have the option to run it in Sauce mode, where all of your test suite information is bundled 
and sent to the Sauce Lab cloud. Or you can run it in Docker mode, where tests are run on a local Docker image. Then the results and assets are sent to Sauce Labs. In order to set the mode universally for all of your suites, you set the mode option under the defaults tag. If none of the individual suites have specified a mode, all of your suites being run, when you use the command saucectl run, will be run in the mode that you set here. If there's no mode set, it will run in sauce mode by default. In order to run in Docker mode, first make sure that you have Docker installed and that you have updated saucectl since you have gotten Docker installed. You can change the default mode to Docker, then run the command saucectl run. The console output will let you know that you're running in Docker mode and which suites are running using that mode. SauceCTL also offers the option to run certain suites in Docker mode and certain suites in Sauce mode. If you take a look at the Sauce Labs dashboard, you can tell that these tests were run in Docker mode based on the container icon. You can also see that all of the Microsoft Edge browser tests failed. That's because currently, Microsoft Edge is not a supported browser with Cypress using Docker mode. What we're going to do now is change it so that certain suites are run in Docker mode and certain suites are run in Sauce mode. Go back to your config YAML. You can get rid of the default mode or you can leave it as is. Now we're going to add in a mode for each of our tests. We're going to specify that two of our tests, the Chrome Smoke tests and the Edge tests are going to be run in Docker mode. To change the mode for the specific suite, simply add the mode option anywhere underneath the suite name. In this example, we have Docker set as the default, but we've specified two suites to run in Sauce mode. When you run Sauce CTL, you'll see the Chrome regression test, as well as the Firefox test, first run in Docker mode. Once Docker mode is finished running, Sauce mode will start up, and the other two tests that you specified will be run on the Sauce Labs cloud of virtual machines. If you visit the Sauce Labs dashboard, you can see icons that indicate that these have been run in Docker mode and on a Sauce Labs virtual machine. Looking in the Docker mode test results, you can see the same set of logs and assets that you would get from running on a Sauce Labs machine, though they were sent there after the Docker test had run. To learn more about options and configurations for your Sauce Labs test, visit docs.saucelabs.com and look for Sauce CTL.